What's up, fellow Hearthstoners? My name is Christophe Source, and today we're going to be checking out Steve's mid range counterspell mage deck. So, we're going to go ahead and throw back Toshly. Um, it's actually a pretty good hand now that we got the mana worm. So, even if this is aggro, we can uh, fend off pretty well. And we also got a mad scientist, so that's like really insane. Um, I'll admit we're getting pretty lucky here. <laughs> So coin scientist. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm not sure if that was the best play. Um so if we would have dropped Scientist, he would have attacked, ping, we would have had to ping. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe this is... Okay, so this is control, I'm guessing. So we'll just drop Acolyte. Alright, yeah, so this is Freeze Mage. Hmm... Okay. Ooh. Wait. This guy running sort of similar to me? <laughs> oh, man. We could get like a ton of card draw right here. Alright. Duplicate. I think I'm actually going to do it. Even though. I guess that this clears the whole board, huh? Duplicate. Yes. Clears most of the board. But we're going to get like a ton of card draw though. Nice. Alright. So that kind of sucks, but that's fine. Wants to trap another unstable, that's cool too. Um, we can actually just go ahead and drop the Drake, I guess. Since it uses up all of our mana, it's probably better to do that. And we're not going to overdraw next turn, but we will have 10 cards in our hands, so that's pretty crazy. Hmm. So I feel like this still... Uh, he could run an Alex Straza, I guess. Hmm. I think I'll actually just drop this. Oh, yeah, I'll drop this too. Oh, I guess I should have waited to attack. <laughs> He doesn't have a. Why are they gonna ping? Uh, you might want to ping that so then things get lower, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that was actually kind of a mistake. Oh well. Okay, counter spell, nice. That'll actually be good if he. Um, if we get a flame strike off of it. Because I'm sure he's probably running a flame strike. He might even be running blizzards too. Like, I think he probably has two flame strikes in his deck. Hmm. Oh, duplicate, okay. Hmm. I think that's fine. I think we really want to get the uh, duplicate out. Um. And we might not, we might only just play a water elemental next turn. Because we don't want him to get like too much value. Fireball, wow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, I thought for a second we might overdraw. Hmm. I don't really want to play anything, but probably should. Maybe we'll just play both. I don't really want to, but this puts enough pressure on him. He could end up flame striking though, which would really suck. They top deck it. I guess okay. Hmm. I wonder if he has a uh, yes, the best to drop. <laughs> yeah, like I knew he was gonna have to ping that too. So he just used up like, or he didn't even use like four mana. So that's kind of good. All right. So in case it is here entity, that first. Okay, and it is not. Um. So this is a pretty good sized board. I mean, these don't really do much damage, but... That could be a counter spell, actually, or it could be another duplicate. I wouldn't be surprised if it was another duplicate, honestly. So do we have lethal? Four, five, six, seven. We do have lethal. So what we're gonna do is check for counter spell. We go face. Okay, so it is ice block. That's fine because now he's only at one HP. So if he doesn't have a heal, which he could have a heal bot. Um, but he would play a heal bot. He couldn't flame strike. So basically, this puts him into a position where he can't flame strike. Yeah, because I, I highly doubt he's running a farseer. <laughs> if he's running a farseer, then he lives for another turn. But okay, heal bot. <laughs> this hits nice. All right, so. Get him back down to one. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just play this. In case he wants to attack with this. He might have a flame strike though too. But, like I said previously, unless he has another heal bot. <laughs> So I guess he, I'm guessing he's probably looking for the other heal bot, but might want to even get an ice berry maybe. I don't know what he's looking for. Okay, GG boys. This is kind of cool. This guy kind of had a deck, some not exactly similar, but somewhat. The gold dam. Hmm. Do I actually? I think I'm actually gonna keep all this. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid, honestly. Okay. Well, at least we have one of our burn. Maybe if, we, if this is handlock and we get both um, fireballs, maybe? Maybe we'll stand a chance. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is handlock. Okay, so we already have nine damage in hand. This is actually going to be kind of good too. I was thinking like, because if we were going against a handlock, I was like, maybe this wouldn't be that bad because then um, if he wants to dark bomb right here, he can't. If he wants to hellfire, he can't. 
It'd be Hellfires, actually. That would be insane. Oh, well, I guess it wouldn't be insane, but it would be pretty nice. Okay. Hmm. I, I had coin, too. Forgot about that. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Okay, now I'm really confused, but really interested. <laughs> Maybe this is a hand log, actually. Okay. Oh, wow. We got four. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Shredder. Ice barrier. I think we'll just shred her. That's fine. Hmm. Okay, he has an implosion. He has an electron. Is this maybe like a weird Malleus or something? Okay, so he's checking for a mirror entity. Heh <laughs> heh. It's kind of good. Because then he can't drop like something like Belcher or something. No. No dark bomb or implosion. I know. It can't be an implosion because he only has three mana. So he has dark bomb. I mean. Oh! No, don't kill it. Don't have an abusive sergeant. He might be wanting to attack into it just because. So then he can kill it maybe like next turn or something. Yes, Matt Bagel Lynn. Oh, he didn't, go, he didn't draw me a card. No. Why you don't draw me a card? Wow, rude. Duplicate! <laughs> oh my gosh. I, don't, I think it might have been smarter to play a uh, counter spell. But I just don't want Nat Paggle to die. And if he does, Nat Paggle reincarnate. Oh, that would have been a nice, nice card to get. He's still attacking this. No, I didn't draw me a card. Man. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Actually, this could be pretty good, too. Because now if he wants to um, kill the Archmage, this is actually going to be way better if he kills the Archmage. <laughs> but he's probably just going to kill the Paggle. <laughs> but he's got to know, yeah. So we're just going to get that duplicated. Dang it. Maybe we should have played the Belcher. Yeah, that Paggle. There's a lot of Siphon Soul. Dude, can he not deal with it? Oh my gosh, if he can't kill Archmage right Oh my god, he can't kill it. Oh my god. Yeah, ice bear. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Dang. All right, so we're gonna counterspell. Aha. Hmm. Yeah, I want to kill this. Even though it still leaves him a body, but...
Oh, it was a duplicate. JK. Wow, he went like gung ho into that. Uh, it could have been a duplicate, right? I don't know. I'm getting my games confused. I don't think. Oh, oh wrecked. That's how it actually was a pretty good counter spell. Nice. That's why I like playing Mage, because your opponent just gets so confused by, like, what's going on. It's like, wait, what? What's going on? Alright, so... Hmm. I don't know. No! Man. That sucks, kind of. Alright. We'll just drop both of these. Alright, so he's still at 28 health. I feel like we need to start, like, hitting him in the face a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, it actually, it might not have been that good to get the paggles. <laughs> well, I guess I was kind of greedy. Oh, that's all he's dropping? Hmm. Well, I was kind of hoping our flame strike would be a little bit better, but... I think this is the most efficient way to just do it. Just do it. All right, so let's see. Do we have enough damage to kill him? Let's see, twelve plus seven, nineteen. Nope. If he taps, though, we do, which he might end up tapping. Now we're still at thirty health. Like he has, he's only attacked us with four damage. I'm thinking, okay, so he's got rid of both implosions. He has one, he used one Dark Bomb, so I feel like he probably has like a Maligos, Soul Fire, something going on. Wow, he's just now dropping this? Huh, it's kind of weird. Had that for a while. Dang, I was kind of hoping that he tapped. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, this guy's deck is crazy. Oh, no. Ooh, Polymorph. Hmm. Will he be able to kill us? I don't think he will. Nah, he's not gonna be able to kill us. So this puts him into a position where he's gonna have to um, heal, most likely. So he has a heal bot, which I'm sure that his deck is running heal bot. Um, the reason why I was considering whether or not I wanted to go face was because I didn't want him to like drop Maligos and then like play a whole bunch of um, burn because I knew that he could do this, but he still has to use the Twilight Drake to get through. So we still have four damage on board plus our uh, fifteen in hand. So yeah, we have like a lot of burn in hand. So he would have to, yeah, so he's tapping. So I had a feeling that he probably didn't have anything over here. So what he'll have to do is like dark bomb this and then like heal bot. But even then we would still have something on board. Okay, so he's Draxing. Mm. Oh, and that counts as a, uh, oh wow. This deck is crazy. Alright. That was actually a pretty good play, but unfortunately for him... Yeah, that was actually a really good play. Nice. Matt Paggle got us a little, little cardy poo. So, unfortunately for him, we just have a ton of damage in hand, so... Ugh. 
That was an interesting neck though that he had. Uh, I'm not really sure about it, but it seemed to be working all right. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, comment all that good stuff. Subscribe if you'd like to. If you want to see more awesome content by me? You can go ahead and do that. So out, boys. Um, for those of you watching through YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and put the deck in the description below so you can find the site, go check it out, talk about the deck, rate it up, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, ask Steve or other people there. I'm sure they're more than happy to help out. And uh, like always, thanks guys for watching, and I hope to catch you in another one of my videos. Peace out.